Hello, welcome to Jeannie's Art Videos once more. Just checking the canvas is level. I think I've said a few times now, it's really disappointing when you come back and your lovely paintings dripped off one edge. Today, what am I doing today? Oh, I'm experimenting with 100% alcohol. Um, normally I use 77% one. Today we've got 100%. And I'm going to do a quick swipe. I've pre-mixed a load of colours here and I'm just going to dot them here and there. There's quite a lot of paint here, but I'm going to do another painting afterwards, that's why. So I'm just going to put them anywhere, blot them around. I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to swipe with white or black. Um, I'll have to think about that while I'm putting the point, paints down. I um, don't know whether you can see up in the corner here, my trusty, excuse my arm, fire extinguisher. Always have one of them around, very handy when you do as I did the other day and um, set fire to the silicon paper. Right, bits of red, bit of colour in the corners, some green. I've mixed up a bit of gold here, which is actually um, a gold mica. I do like bits of glitter and sparkle. And um, I'll add that in a minute as well. And this is just simply Floetrol paint. They're mostly, well, some Lucas paints and some Royal and Langenickel or um, Windsor and Newton, the heavy bodied acrylics. And I've mixed them with a little Floetrol, the alcohol, um, and a little dimethicone, which I'd use there as my text going. Probably hear my brother on the chainsaw in a bit as well. He's cutting the grass and chopping wood today. Nice boy. Right, um, I think I'm going to have a bit more red up here. And decision time. Black or white? Hmm. I think we'll go for white, for black. So I'm going to put a few bits of white in just to go and try to get trying to keep this video short I tend to ramble on far too long and you must get bored listening to them so right enough color do you think a bit more yellow maybe the um, gold mica looks quite cloudy when you actually mix it up but it's just where have I put it over here it is just flow troll um, alcohol, silicon, bit of a tiny bit of water, and just the gold mica powder. So, um, yeah, wiggle a bit more on there, and it just makes it into a kind of paint. But the flow troll dries clear, so um, once it's dry, you just get the gold effect. You don't get a load of like cloudy gold. I'm going to swipe from both corners, so put a bit up there and a bit down there, right. Um, find my trusty sheet of acetate. I should have got that out ready and I forgot. I'll try to make everything ready for you. Right, here we go. It's a bit grubby, but it's dry and it's clean. It'll do. I think I'm just going to push this up to the edges a little bit. And same this side. I quite like swiping with black. It gives some really dramatic effects if you like drama. Right, okay, here we go. Swipe number one. Woo, that looks good. Swipe from the other side. I'm just go on those corners a little bit. Maybe I'm missing some paint. A little bit down there. Great, I'm going to scrape some of this off and just Oops, got some hair in there. Shush dog. I don't worry too much about the edges. I can always touch them up and do something. Normally the paint runs off with some lovely action there. I'm going to give it a quick torch. I've been trying to work, oops, click, click, to work on keeping the glare down. Still can't get that quite right positioning. I'll lift it up to the camera in a minute. Whoops. It doesn't really do much torching, but a little bit on the edges. But that's pretty much okay how it is. I'll lift it up so you can have a look. And can you see that? It's always awkward. So you can, you can, you can see, tilt it a little bit. 
if you want. I don't think I do. I'm just going to leave that as it is to dry. Um, and if it's dry in a couple of days, I'll show you it when it's done. Thank you for watching. Bye.